Hi, my name is Del Engen, and I'm going to show you how to use drum maps and sonar to create articulations in key switches for East-West Symphonic Orchestra. Uh, I've loaded a project here based on my orchestral template, and let's open up the synth rack. Um, you can see I have each of these instances of, v of the VST play loaded. Um, I think there are seven instances of play. Um, they're not all um, turned on, but they're in the rack here, and I turn them on as I need to. So strings, brass, winds, percussion, uh, ensembles, just for some spare ensembles if I want to include them, Goliath. Um, so it, it saves a lot of time if you just turn them off by default and have it load um, when you just enable them manually. Um, these I loaded as... Uh, East-West Instruments from Jonathan Loving's site. He created a bunch of these for Sibelius, and I um, repurposed them here just to build my templates off of. Um, and you can go to his site, Jonathan Loving, and um, get those uh, East-West templates for Sibelius, and they'll work fine, and I'd suggest donating. He's done a lot of work. He has a PayPal um, donate button on his site, and uh, it's well worth it, I think. So anyway, let's... Um, open up the strings and um, this is a Platinum Plus edition. Um, I've uh, modified them a little bit from the ones that Jonathan Loving used and and he um, these are actually the light versions. He, he has a couple of different ones and but this is the light one. It has only some of the key switches loaded, not all of them. Um, and so I've modified them a little bit to include just the close mic position, uh, which makes them dry, and I can modify that as necessary. I also um, changed them all to be 16-bit instead of 24-bit. Um, so the close mic position I can mix in with other um, drier instruments and put them in my own um, virtual space if I want to use different convolution reverb. The um, instruments you can see are, um, the articulations, I mean, are um, a couple long or sustained ones, um, sometimes some tremolos and or trills, which are other forms of long articulations, and then maybe one or two short articulations like a marcato, um, and then a couple very short ones like pizzicato or staccato. I've also um, enabled the um, round robin reset to s um, set that to a midi note zero. So let me um, get out of the rack here and. Um, talk about drum maps for a second. So in case you're unfamiliar with drum maps, um, they were originally designed to allow you to map note numbers to the names of drums on the um, on the MIDI keys and to give them readable, customizable drum names. So for example, you could have uh, G-sharp 1 be your open eye hat and F-sharp 1 the closed eye hat uh, and also to route any MIDI note number to any other note number on the input of a drum machine or a VST so you could lay them out uh, to trigger them in a way that made sense to you. Um, so um, uh, the other thing it did was allow you to edit uh, MIDI notes in the piano roll and know which drum you were hitting on which key name. So let me expand the uh, key switch track folder and uh, putting everything in track folders makes things a lot easier. Uh, so you can have all your key switches together and then all of your actual instruments together on their MIDI tracks. So there's this is the strings um, track folder. So let's see, 18 violins, key switches, uh, oops, that's 11, 18 is that one. And uh, so the output there, you can see the output of this MIDI track goes to the actual um, drum map, the DM1, DM4, whatever that one was, um, for the strings, and I've created this as a drum map um, for the output of this MIDI track. The channel, if you use a, a drum map, always gets set to drum map there, you can see. Um, and then the corresponding um, 18 violins down here, the output goes to the same, um, the actual same channel that the output of the drum map, go map goes to, and that would be the uh, the violin uh, play instrument there. Um, and so both tracks, uh, the MIDI and key switch data, are sending to the same track, which makes it handy in the piano roll view. I'll show you that in a second here.
I'm going to control click both of these track folders and then switch to the piano roll view and I'll continue this tutorial in part two.